Well, it's quitting time here at the uh, amplifier factory, and you can tell by the clock on the wall that it's just before quitting time, and it is 91 degrees inside the amp shop, and that is with the air conditioner blowing wide open. That's right, it's set for 71 degrees. We are falling 20 degrees shy of that mark. That's right, folks. Uh, it's 110. Listening to the stones, getting ready to go home. It's just, it's oppressive. Um, but there will be more on this later and more about the super dog day sale amps as soon as I get home and get into some cold air. Hi everybody, it's, it's Richard, um, and uh, this is a key lime pie, and I'm told it was made by a guy named Kenny, and uh, let me just, give me a second to, I don't even know what this red stuff is, but it looks good, um, it was an expensive slice of pie, so this red stuff must be pretty important. Anyway, uh, depending on how the edits come out, uh, it's, uh, we had a really, really, really scorching hot day at the office where it got to be 91 degrees inside the office with the air conditioner running, starting to make us crazy. And I was going to shoot a video about a couple of amps I have for sale that are unusual one of them is a super 17 i'll have some pictures of uh in the custom size format and it's a 2008 chassis and a brand new cabinet and brand new speakers and i did some mods to it and updated it and everything and selling that at a very attractive price but there's also this is really good there's also a little uh, little red champion, and um, I'll show a picture of that also. Um, I made it for a guy last year, a fireman in Memphis, Tennessee, and um, he's been saving up for a Super 17, and he just traded this in uh, just a couple of days ago, and it's from a batch I made last fall. Uh, I make them like five at a time uh, whenever it feels right. And this one has a, a bigger transformer. They have a bigger 8 ohm speaker. And uh, it's currently running a 5881, putting out about 7 watts. And I've been, it's right here in the living room with me. Um, maybe have a shot of that in a, in a little bit. But, um, but it's a, it's a pretty remarkable amp, and there'll be pictures of that. And, um, um, you know, normally this, these aren't sales pitches. These blogs are informative and scientific and whatever. But tonight I just thought I'd share a slice of key lime pie, get in out of the sun. I mean, it was just, it's, uh, as we uh, tape this, it's August 4th. Uh, and uh, uh, it was, you know, it was oppressively hot so i'm chilling at the house the wife and kids are out of town and um they'll be back tomorrow uh-oh oh damn yeah Okay, uh, we've been having technical difficulties all afternoon, but if you can hear me, nod your head. Great. Uh, 
This is from our Dog Days collection. This is a Super 17 Mark II with tremolo. It doesn't have reverb, but it has tremolo, and it's an old chassis and a new cabinet. It is really spiffy. An incredible shade of wine red. They call it Wine Taurus at the uh, place where we get this stuff. Anyway, uh, this can be had for the low, low price of $12.99. And just reach out and give me a call if you're interested. Thanks. Okay, this video will go a lot better if you can uh, picture in your mind, if you will, the, uh, the theme music from the old dating game. Uh, that's what should be playing in your head as I pan around this lovely good old Champton. That's right, I said Champton. 5F1 meets 5F2A. This particular one has an oversized transformer, a 5881 power tube. And it's got some random speaker from WGS, my speaker people. Uh, it was a, a prototype, and I don't even remember what it was for, but it sounds good in here. It's a very, very fendery sound, maybe, maybe even more black face than tweed. But uh, as you can see, it's a lovely amp. That's a 10-inch speaker in there. Let me just reach down here for a second and uh, let y'all take a look in the back door. Um, of course, we have a tone control where input one would normally be because uh, I mean who needs two in I mean two inputs you gotta be kidding me I don't know what that was for um, anyway there's the speaker it's unlabeled it's a prototype from WGS and you can see it's not even a year old yet uh, September 25th of last year <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what all the other amp builders are doing tonight. I mean, where else are you going to get this? You thought you were here to learn about amplifiers. And instead, you've got this castrated, shaved, golden retriever who is having his way with his bedding material. <laughs>